Hello, Twitch and YouTube. How are you guys doing today? Lightbringer here. And I am sorry I am starting 15 minutes late. That is not ever my intention. But I'm just getting home from hanging out with my friends at Almost Nerds, Jarrell and Murphy, a.k.a. And a couple of their friends, and we were playing some, some games, and we were like, well, why don't you stream from here? But we started running out of time, so I rushed back home and started hooking everything up. So if you hear me eating or drinking in the background, I've got a little thing of Pop-Tarts and a glass of milk over here with me. Don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me, man! Alright, and we are going to play Bloodborne. Because it's been a week, and I think we still need to do Vicar Amelia, so this this should be fun. Or horrifically terrifying. I think last week I just did Chalice Dungeons, because I really didn't want to fight Amelia. We could technically do Chalices again. I'm, I'm, I'm up for it. If, if we want to do that again. I mean, Chalice Dungeons are not a long thing, though. I don't know what those little people figures on the right side mean, but oh well, we'll figure it out. Alrighty, so, where was Amelia? Because there's really nowhere to go there yet. There's nowhere there. I think it's over here somewhere. It'll also give me a chance to remember the buttons. So, yay, buttons. I know a couple of guys a couple weeks ago, like last week I didn't have, last weekend was just a crapshoot. Like nobody, nobody was there. It made me sad. A couple of guys the week before were like, hey, there's there's a door you missed or didn't go through. You should probably go find that. And I'm like, okay, but I... Like, they left and I stopped before I could figure out where. Like, how to get to said door. Ooh, squishy werewolves. I am happy with that. Sup, buddy? What's up, buddy? How you doing? How you doing? Oh! Who are you? They're just annoying. It's like, I'm here trying to worry about the heavy hitter. Although... I'm still getting those stupid bloodstone shards. Hi, Av! Whatever. Good, just... I was like, why can't all these guys just drop blood vials and make my life easier? But no. They're all these freaking bloodstone shards. And I'm like, how many do you need, honestly, in this game? I'm very lost right now. I think I'm in the wrong area. I think I'm way off, but we, we shall see. should be over here. I mean, I'm getting good souls from these guys. Shut up. I was like, why did the first hit hit you, not the second? Okay. Come on, online, dude. You can do it. I actually forgot I was playing online right now, so. But no, seriously, where the heck am I right now? I need to get back to the church to fight Amelia. That's the problem. There's just enough torches and the backgrounds in some of these areas look roughly the same. Because I think I'm going back down towards Dark Beast Parl's area. 
and that's not where I want to be right now. Namely because I already killed him, so there's really no need to go back there. Oh, but I do have a lamp, so we can use that lamp to go figure out where I'm supposed to be going. We can repair my weapons at the last minute, just in case. And get a little freebie heal, since I don't want to waste a blood vial for that little spot of HP I've lost, so... Alright, so let's do that. We will go back to the dream. I'm trying to think, because I think... It's really easy to get to her area, just it screams don't fight this unless you actually feel ready and have explored the rest of the game. But I think at the point I'm at now, there's nothing left to do. There's probably a closer one than the Cathedral Ward, but I know how to get there from here. Maybe. Also, if you haven't seen my thing in a while, or even if you watch every one, I don't know if I did this off stream. Uh, the guy with the Gatling gun, if you sneak up from behind after you fight Dark Beast Parl, he'll give you a couple of things. Oh dear. You weren't lying. This is a safe place. I like her voice. She's Thank very you. Cute. I'm in your debt. Ooh, I got the curtsy. Cool. I'd like to tender my thanks, but I haven't much to offer. All I can give is my blood. I still don't get what would you even take a horse's blood? I will take it once, and then never again. Oh, I can only use... Is this a, you can only have one thing of blood at Brave a time? Hunter. There are others in need of my... Huh. Well, in that case... This is cool to know. Now that I know, I can... Like, use her blood only X amount. No! Hit up. Just. Gosh darn it. We'll make it work. We always do. Because I think her thing. Whoa! And for those of you who are like, oh my gosh, how's it keep the game these guys are here? It's like, you gotta remember, I haven't played this in like a week. I've been doing a cheap If somebody drops me, like Hey look, there's a dude, I should go give him a hug. I'm sorry, not a hug. I'm actually going to give you the hug of death! Oh, that was close. That was really close. Man. And that was a pair of blood vials. Well, crud. Alright, let's heal. No love. Henriette? Who's Henriette? I mean, I know if I summon her, I'll be able to use her to fight Amelia. But I was actually hoping to play with one of you guys, but there's no one here yet. That's kind of a problem. Like, if I'm going to use Insight to get a friend, I want to get a friend. And as we learned last time, I got a real-life player to help. Works really 
I'm already positive, like five blood vials, so that's awesome. I always feel like left left stick should be my like run button. I always forget that it's not. Okay, so we can get Henry Ed. Which I I don't know who Henry Ed is. I've never heard or met a boss named Henry Ed. How'd you miss at point blank range, by the way? I mean, I got no problem with you missing, just. Huh? <laughs> I don't know if I want to fight that big dude. But, I know if I don't, he's gonna like. Oh crap. Do you have a backswing coming? No. That hurt. I think there's another guy. Bloodstone shard. With the bloodstone shards, man. I don't think there's anything left. I'm kind of stalling, I think, at this point, and hoping a couple more players get on and are like, brah, I can help. But I don't know if that's gonna be a thing. Oh, duh. Like, this is a live game. I could probably, like, get right before her door and start ringing my bell and see if stuff happens. If that... If that happens, that'd be cool. Guy is not special. That combo is really working wonders for me right now. Because I think... Therefore, may the good blood guide your way. Okay, this must be somebody who got help. I'm trying to mark it as fine. It's not working. Okay, I guess I can't. I can mark that one, but I can't mark this one. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Please carry on in my stead. Aw, that's cool. Few some specters. Am I ready to fight her though? I mean, I don't want to use my bell on just randoms. If I could instead, like, be with some of you guys, but at the same time. Okay, I am gonna heal. And then when I'm fighting her, I'll use the uh, Adela's blood. Because I just like the idea of having that passive health regen while I'm playing. I'm a little ticked you can only get the blood, like, once, and then you have to use it. I mean, that's fine, just that's really weird. So what do you guys think? Should I go for Henriette, or should I see if there's a person around here and ring my bell for them? I gotta figure out where I put my bell. To help. Call to other worlds for help. Or just go murder some guy while he's trying to fight Amelia. That, that would just be unfair. But no, it's my world, so let's see if we can't get some help. Damn, but Okay. Now I'm at 16,000 souls. But I think I need, like, 18 at this point to be able to level up properly. I've got lots of bullets, so I can shoot her all the time. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do it. See if anybody comes. If anybody comes, that's great. If they don't, well, that... I wasted a point of insight, but I can get plenty more.
and see if anybody wants to wants to help me. Baby Light needs help. All those gestures. And that's just the ones it puts in there. Like, there's... A couple dozen or so? That looks neat, me just sitting there. Does he church bow? Actually, point forward, joy. Hunter's Rally to me looks kind of weird. No. I didn't want to use it. I want to switch Hunter's Rally. For... No, no. We'll go for Prey. Like, I want to see what Prey does. No, 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 no. Please don't let her murder me. <laughs> okay. At this point, I don't think anyone is coming. Oh, and she doesn't like fire. Do I have fire? Like fire paper? <laughs> of course I don't. That's not the kind of prepared player I am, apparently. Go me. Fire is effective. Yep. I did not come prepared. <laughs> that guy is running away from... No, I want the notes. Remember reinforcements caller and time for focus on evasion. So pretty much if you're gonna call for backup, don't don't freaking die immediately. Don't focusing on evasion. I do like how these notes are steadily showing up. Those are specters. Does she fight people all the way down here though? Don't be fooled. I mean, it's a scripted event. Well, that sucks, so I guess I will fight her alone since nobody is responding to this bell. Wait. Let's see. Was there something? Oh, uh, I feel stupid now. Because I think I made my... Yep, I added a password. Now, I wonder... Is my little ringy bell still based off of the password? Or is my little ringy bell now based off of not the password? Either way, let's go. Um, we'll do it right this next time and see what happens. Yeah, it says my bell's wrong now, so... I got her to about half by just kind of half asking. So. Oh shoot, I have friends coming! Yes! <laughs> Although, at the rate I'm going right now, I'm actually doing well. I am gonna drink this. Yes! Visceral face! Okay, this is about the part I got to last time. Oh, but he's using fire. This one, I'm like, oh, that cheating jerk, man. Yeah. Oh. He's using the flame sprayer. That's smart. I should be using my flame sprayer. Trophy! Yay! 
Ta-da! Now he will go. Um, that... That was a lot easier than... Inspect that. Oh, right. Okay. What does the gold pendant do? Remove that. Is the gold pendant, like, a usable item? Used to gain a blood gem. Cool! I like blood gems. Got to cycle to it. I just smash a gold blood gem. Alright, so before we go doing that, because I know doing that changes some things in the world. Like, I know just enough about this game, it's driving me nuts. Like, based on cutscenes and tutorials, and hey, I don't want to miss anything, how do you do this? And people are like, oh yeah, before you fight so-and-so, you gotta do this, 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 and this. And I'm like, well, crud. Welcome. What is it you desire? Just Over talk. time, countless hunters have visited this dream. See, her dialogue never changes. The graves now. here stand in their memory. There's a lot of graves. It all seems so long ago now. Channel Very blood. well. Let the echoes become your strength. But I think I need like 18 to level 18 Let or 19. Let me stand close. Or I could need 25. That's a lot more than I thought, but okay. Okay, if I do this, if I do skill, I'm getting like two attack power. Whoop. And two defense. Ooh. Whereas if I do this, I'm getting 20 HP and two defense. Yeah, okay. We're gonna go for the health. At this point, I think I'm gonna do like a 1-1 one, one sweep. Farewell, good hunter. I wanna see what this new blood gem is. Blood gem fortification. Pick up a cane. Gold blood gem. Attack up versus beasts. Which. Oh, okay. That's, I guess, okay. Instead... See, this doesn't... It only makes me bear against beasts. Well, alright then. So, at the moment, I think I'm still fine with the cane. Like, the cane of doom is freaking awesome. I will repair this, because I don't know what's going to come up here soon. I'm scared. I'm scared, mama. Mama. I'm scared. There's nothing else to... Well, actually, fighting the boss might have unlocked something to buy. Yeah, I should probably buy some fire paper at some point. There are enough thingies I have fought that have been like, yeah, uh, fire paper. Yeah, you might want to... And the stake driver came from him. Did I... do I own Ludwig's Holy Blade? I mean, I can't use it because it needs a freaking 16 strength. Gosh. It's no wonder it's everybody's favorite weapon. For, for strength builds, it sounds like it's, it's pretty solid. Alright, let's see if killing her gave me, like, a special thing. No. 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 Nope. Okay, so killing her gave me just a bunch of souls. Blood echoes. Blood echoes. Yeah. So let's... Oh, I did have those on me. Well, poo. Go you, dummy. I had Molotovs, too. Well, dagnabbit. <laughs> so many things I could have... I could have used. I will put that up. 
most of these, I'm like, I really like just pure damage. So, most of these gems I think I'll, I'll sell at some point. That's an okay one. I don't use Quicksilver Bullets, so I can put that one in the box. And Transform, I don't know what that means. Yeah, and that's the only chalice I have left to do. Oh no, two chalices. So yeah, might do a chalice dungeon real quick if you guys are up for it. Because I want to be as well equipped and prepared as possible. So let's go up here. Chalice Ritual. Do I want to do the three or the two difficulty one? I want to do this one just to get it out the way. Let's, let's do it. And now let's go put that chalice in a box so that I don't try to accidentally use it again like a, like a dummy. Because I realize there is no like checklist. If I keep all my chalices on me, it's like, hey, do you want to activate this chalice or this chalice? And I'm like, ooh, this one's all glowy. Those ones are all pale colored lights I mean they flicker but this one flickers too so what does all the little I don't, I don't get it like I want to look for a dungeon I do but I don't know what that means like that's the problem this game is not very clear on what you do if you share stuff with people I'm still hoping to get Burial Blade somewhere, so... Chances are I'll run in here... Door, there's gonna be like a lamp in there. Yeah. And before I open this door, I'm gonna backtrack and go through that other door. Okay. I can see how some people are like. Like, if you watch a lot of reviews, the chalice dungeons are usually like everybody's bottom tier, like the thing that broke the game and made it not as perfect as it could have been. Whoa, giant spider. That's new. Ooh. Got some, got some tank health, too. Almost 700 echoes for that, too. That's awesome. I'm actually a little sad it didn't, like, climb the walls or something. Or, like, drop down on me, because... At this point in the game, I would not be looking for... Oh, freebie. Don't see any baddies down there. Whoa. That was weird. <laughs> Let's not, like, randomly have the camera get stuck in a wall again, shall we? Okay, there is a ladder up here if I need it. Let's smash that, because... Pressure plates suck. That was risky. I'm actually a little ticked these things don't drop antidotes. As rarely as I have found those. And you find specters all over the dang place. I 
Are we serious? There's like nothing in this room, it looks like. Nope, not a fake wall. Again, I I now don't know. Ooh, another blood vial, oh, that's cool. So I'm only getting like one. Is that based on difficulty or somebody? Whoa. He took that like He is taking my hits like a Oh, bull crap. Oh, jeez. He hits way harder than I'm used to. Oh, jeez. Nope. Back up. Heal. Back up. Okay. So, I definitely need to watch for these guys now in this dungeon. I mean, I probably need to watch for everything, because again, I've been doing one and two difficulty things. This is a three. So I feel like this is... Yeah, that dude was fast. Av, like, that, that was nasty. And I was not looking for a guy with that kind of speed. Oh, there's something over there. Don't think I don't see you, zombie. These guys are taking so much damage now. That's bad. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. I wanted to just back up and swing, not... Oh, good. Pop this. Well, with big guys around the corner, potentially, they can snap my health. Really easy. Like, did you see what that one bag dude was able to do? Like, half my HP per hit? That... If he had landed any combos, I'd be dead. Like, any combos whatsoever. Okay, and that's, I, no, that's not the room I was in. But I don't see anybody down there. I don't see any gear down there either. Like, no chests, no, no, those little fireball wizard dudes. I mean, that just looks like a room I walk through to get from point A to point B, so I'm going to skip it for now. I can't get back up here from there, it looks like, so let's fear a strong foe. Oh, goody. Okay, is the strong foe in here or through this door? Let's go through the door. Ritual material. Strong fall weights. Okay. Now he's up ahead here. Fear a long weapon. See, these are useful notes. Whoa, it's a knight, dude. He can change his angle way faster than he should. Okay. I'm gonna call the game out on that BS. With as hard as it is for that guy to swing that sword, he should not be able to, like, sidestep and start whipping it left and right all of a sudden. Like, when you give me a very deliberate, Oh, it's so heavy, I can't lift it. Oh, see how hard it is? Oh, look at me lifting it. It's so slow. And then all of a sudden, oh, yeah, dude, I can totally, like, swing this, like, nobody's business. I mean, I get that if all of a sudden he's doing, like, 50-hit combos all of a sudden and crap, but that's just a, oh, man, he dodged to the left. I'm a freaking change my entire attack pattern, because I can. Just, 
that's not realistic and when the game is very bound in I mean it's a realistic gothic horror if, if that makes any sense man that's all my souls too okay I am gonna go down here this time because I did not go down here last time ha ah, bagman nope we're gonna run back this way again because I am not equipped to handle a bagman in close quarters like this. See, and you can't sneak attack them, which is very unfair to me. Oh, I tipped him off. He's angry now. Please don't be angry. That could have been bad. Ooh, Ritual Blood 4. I don't think I have any of that. Cold Blood do. But again, when those guys are able to just, like, light attack away a fifth of my health, this is a bad situation. Okay, I think this is the area I was in before. Oh, they just jumped down. Lame. Oh, there's two of them, though. But again, I don't think I can leave this area in any direction. Nope, I should have been more defensive when I fought the dude with the sword, but I got cocky because I beat Amelia the first. I beat her so quick, I'm like, oh no, I got this. The game's like, uh, no you don't. Hidden path waits ahead. See, that's super useful. Not there. The little icon pointed this way. Nope. Remember rolling. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna go this way now. See, if I hadn't come down here, and the first time I wasn't gonna come down here, so... Remember rolling. I'm worried about that. <laughs> when the tips are, hey, by the way, rolling is encouraged in this. Oh, sweet. Materials. What is this? Is this the entry walkway? I believe so. So that's cool. But see, I know these layouts are really boring because, like, this room, I've seen it six or seven times already. Sometimes there's some planks leading to other areas, other times. But, like, it's the ones like this where you're like, ah, oh, I'm, I'm gonna be cocky, I'm gonna be a jerk, I'm gonna say, hey, there's, there's nothing there. I've been in that room a million times before. There's no reason to do that particular tile set again. And this is the one time there's a secret area there. I don't know if they programmed that in, or if it's just there will randomly be maybe like one secret room every X amount of rooms or something in the chalice dungeons. Yeah, beware of the trap. The guy points right at it. Beware of trap. Ah! Beware of giant spider while you're freaking looking at your junk, stupid. Go me. Like, do I not feel just so good right now? Stupid. Oh. And I hit the trap. Freaking moron. I'm just... I was doing so well until I picked this chalice dungeon to do. Alright, so... I've been here before. I don't remember there being anything until, like, the bagman and that one random zombie in the corner. So, we can be patient. We'll let the bagman come to us for a change. Sup, buddy? Because last time I hit him, Ryze came in the door. 
I had to fight him and the zombie, and just that one extra dodge roll for zombies was kind of a pain. Yeah, fool. No. See, I don't know what the purpose of that technique is. It doesn't do anything. Oh, crap. So now he's got to do that jumping crap. See, and they can all do this crap combo breaking, like, every one of my attacks is good for crushing your defenses. Like, even there. The jackass still got hit on me. Takes out half my health. It's like, I wish I could break their attacks with my attacks like they do. But no. You don't get to do crap like that. Only the monsters can. And this is when somebody would be like, Yeah, but you've got a gun. Uh, some of them have guns, too. <laughs> like, that's not special. And I'm still working my way to get my blood echoes back, so... Okay, and this is where I would have fought the two guys with the little flamey lanterns. Because I see my blood echoes, like, right there. Because I didn't really move much. Bam. I mean, it's still not enough to do anything. But, man, I don't fear a long weapon. Yeah, I get he's got a long sword. He hits really hard, though. I hit him through here? Oh, I can. He can hit me through there, though. Oh my gosh. Get off the lock. <laughs> that lock on feature screws me more often than it helps. Oh my gosh, he is so spry with that all of a sudden. Heal. Can he chase me through here? Probably, because he's pretty much man-sized. He's got to go swipe. I'm out of range, so he's not going to follow through with that thrust. Oh, crap. Was he baiting me, or was I baiting him? that freebie shot because his reach is not my reach man I've lost so many blood vials already blood vials go so quickly and there's no real way to upgrade their effectiveness which is a little disappointing but I know in like Dark Souls there's a way to upgrade your Estus flasks but that's like an entire stat, really. I'm like, I'd rather have it this way. No, I think I would I would rather have 20 weak blood vials that just naturally... Oh, jeez, there's another guy there. Why didn't you jump out when I was in that room? That's weird. I've been through here so many times now, and you haven't jumped out once. Stupid. Wait till the guy's destroying the shadowy brazier, like smoke making thing. I do like the sound. Of the but no, a lot of these were. I don't know how to leave notes. Like. So far, the game has not told me how to leave a note for anybody, so... Like, I find notes, and I find specters, like, but here, like, how do I leave a note? No idea. I don't have any personal effects that I can use. It's just, it's very strange to me. Alright. Anybody watching this, um, I am Lightbringer. 
I have been playing Bloodborne for like a month, off and on. Usually I only play it on Sundays when I'm streaming it, because so far the community's been pretty, pretty solid when, you know, they're here. That sounded way more depressing than it should have sounded, but oh well. Whoops. Um, I'm really loving this game. Cooperator? No. Are we saying the boss needs, like, help against kind of thing? Av keeps saying she wants to play this game, but she was all, like, psyched when a couple of guys were like, dude, are you gonna play this co-op? And I'm like, sure, and she's like, wait, there's a co-op feature? No. No, there's not. You can do bosses co-op. I saw that blade, I'm like, crap, it's another sword dude. Hey, I'd rather fight a giant sword dude than more of those fat guys with the shotgun. I also love the outfit your character has. You already know this, but I'm saying it for the public, lol. Yeah, I was a little upset it wasn't co-op. See, I have been trying so hard to find a co-op kind of game like this. I mean, no offense, when you design the bosses for, hey, by the way, even in co-op, you will die a lot. Why not let that be, like, a thing? Make sure there's no one here, because I've done that before in this run. Ha! Red spiders! Why? Nothing but pity here. Crap. That means it's a trap. I'm in a secret room. Now, does that mean that down this way there is a... Where's the trip? Ah! What the heck just happened? What the heck just... Okay, first, who puts a note on the trip switch? Second, did that spider literally just one-shot me? If so, that is complete and utter bull. But that's fine. I got all my souls back, so now I just gotta get them back again. Which is frustrating, but whatever. Okay, there's no possible way a guy's got a specter here. Again, I didn't. Yeah, it scared me too, but it wasn't it wasn't like jump scary enough to be the worst thing I've dealt with in this game. Get rid of those. Physical attack is effective. Yeah, yeah, pretty much to get rid of traps, do this thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna give that an upvote just because it makes no sense. Like, remember cooperator. Okay. Teamwork? co-operator? Like, does it need two people? You gotta give me something to go off if you're making a note. And I know the game makes these, like, cryptic as all heck, but... Like, there's cryptic, and then there's just stupid cryptic. Remember, it's a physical attack. Yeah, I think it's talking about the, um... Oh no, he's got my souls. That's easy. That makes life so much easier. Come here, buddy. Wait, how did you get my souls? You were dead already last time. Like, once or twice, I've actually died and seen a guy spawn. Nothing there. The spiders will be coming. There they are. Hey, buddies. Okay, there is somebody like summoning these spiders and I am not happy about that. So let's go this way where the spiders came from and kill her freaking butt because no! Oh my gosh, they hit hard. No, she's not dead yet. No! 
Frick! That would take out the red spiders, but not her. Where did... Uh, those regular dinky spiders were just a nuisance. <sighs> Doggone it. Okay, I don't think I am ready for this chalice dungeon. I'm gonna be honest. At least now if I'm gonna stream it. Because I've been in this dungeon for what, like... 20-something minutes now, and... I've died to, like, the same spider pr practically twice. That kind of... That hurts my morale, man. No, that's the wall store. No, at this point, I feel like I've covered half this dungeon, so... I think what I will do is just... Aw, oh, you don't have my souls this time. That's... Just with all your healing things... I feel like this game should just have given you like five full heals like Estus Flasks. Give you a lot of HP. Oh, come on! Oh, that's where the spider came from. It was in this room. So many of them. Just in case, I'm gonna swallow another flask. Okay, where'd she go? Oh crap, and she's got my souls too. And she has an offense? I did not know she could attack attack. That's new. Wait, what was that? It's a guy with a giant crossbow. That's... It's new, but it's not very impressive. Especially when his first couple of free attacks literally just shot the floor I was standing on. I mean, if you're trying to introduce it... Whoa, that's a lot of spiders. See, this is how you do it. It is a forest of creepy spiders hanging from the ceiling. No, what the heck? I went to lock onto it when it hit the ground and the game went back. Problem is, because this isn't that cramped little tunnel, I can literally just attack them one at a time. Which kind of defeats the purpose of the scary spiders in the hall. Oh no, it's another scary spider all alone. Guess what the next enemy's gonna be? Probably another scary spider all by himself. Let's see. Oh look, there it is. Hi, I'm Frank. I'm a little spider all by myself. Oh no, I'm dead now. That kinda sucks. But that's the cast. See you again. Just, all you gotta do is die. Okay. okay, and this is just the other door. So I go through an extra room or two just to get to this area. But that's okay, because now the only route left is, um... I'm going to smash things. I meant to the first time I came through here, but I was dodge rolling too many times. Okay, where is... Wow, that is weird. Fear the insects. Okay. See, that one's not bad. LOL. No. Okay. He's got ranged attack. Does that mean, like, if I get up in his face, it's gonna be completely worthless now? Or... You keep firing those, buddy. Oh! And then he brings out a sword. Okay. Again, I'm getting cocky and stupid with this. Oh my gosh. Changing angles and crap. Heal. Just, I hate it. Yeah. The blood vials always heal, but it's always like 20% of your max health, and every enemy can take you down by like half? 
Unless it's like their wussiest attack, in which case it still takes you down by a good chunk. At that point, what's the point? I mean, yeah, I took his, like, crossbow to the f inflicted organ. What is that? That's something new. Is it one of these? Bloodshot eyeball. Yeah. Okay, so I'll need to kill more of him later. But no, just... I, I am in agreement with the great majority of people that are like, Okay, blood vials are great and all, but, uh... Like, they work similar to Estus flasks, but they're so freaking weak. They're not a renewable resource anymore, which means that anytime I use all of mine, I need to die to get them all back. I can't just go to... Because I think... I've never played a Dark Souls game, but I think how it works is pretty much you go to a lamp. Push button. Bam. You get all your things back. You don't need to go back to, say, the Hunter's Dream or what is it in 3, like Firelink Shrine or something. You don't have to go back to the hub area just to get back your healing items. But here, I do. You have to go back to the hub or you have to die. And I'm Milk, like, what is it? Yay? Very well. Let me oh, start. doing that though. Which lets you know just how much I should not be in this area. And I was going to level up my But see, back when you first start, 15,000 souls will level you up like six times. Now I'm at like, yeah, you need 30 to even debate coming back here. But I mean, I have like two or three hundred blood vials in reserve, or at least I did at one point. But because you use them, like you have to use them regularly, I'm, I'm down to like 276. There's no infinite amount, which is great, because I feel like people have just farmed the heck out of them if there were a, like, you can hold a bajillion. People have gone, okay, let me get a bajillion, never worry about this crap again. I, I don't know. Just the healing system feels very ineffectual. And as much as you want people to do this high-octane combat then roll out and try and time your heals. If the heals are super weak and the combat is super fast, like enemies are able to jump on me from like 30 feet away. Even though some of them act all fat and slow and then they're like, yeah, I'm gonna jump across the room. It's like, how? Where is this coming from? All right, let's see what the first boss of this first floor of this chalice dungeon is. Because the problem is, I feel like this boss is going to be super easy, and it's going to just tick me off. Because I have fought a decent number of these bosses at this point. Like, I've already hit the point where I've started refighting a couple of bosses, and I'm not really getting into the high difficulty territory. Yeah, I have fought this boss before. It's literally just these three guys, and they're weak. No! Frick! What the heck? I see like the- oh jeez, these guys were a lot stronger than the other ones. No! Oh my gosh. And the arena is smaller. Okay. So I need to stay, like, in the back corner. Wreck one of them if I can. Okay. That, that sucked. And where did all my viewers go? Like, the first three weeks when I streamed, I had, like, six or seven people here, and they would talk to me and give me tips, and... Now there's, like nobody I mean there's me 
and and my wife Ev, but that's not the same as. Maybe it's because I took out the tag for like Bloodborne, but I also just wanted. I wanted to make this a very positive space where I don't just have to play Bloodborne. And he's not dead. Break. You're not dead. Now all of you's dead. How many times? What the heck? He didn't even get staggered by shotgun point blank. That is bull. Sorry, I was about to curse. I'm trying to make this a family friendly Twitch. That is bullcrap. Like, you guys saw if you're watching the stream. He's just here doing rapid attacks. I'm like, okay, when you fat guys do that attack, it lets me stagger you when I shoot you point blank with a shotgun. Is it just that variant of him that's like, nah, nah. I feel like this would be easier if I took out Gun Guy, but he is smack dab in the middle. Which means it's going to be a pain in the butt to kill him. Without killing the others. Can I just fist bump this guy? And I am going to deal with that. What the heck? See, he's being able to freaking melee. The Gosh, dang. The guy with the guns doing more damage than the guys with the giant freaking weapons are. Oh my gosh. Freaking move! Oh my gosh, get up. this time because I screwed up but I also wasn't really going for my blood echoes so. oh now it works but see it's that delay after the visceral attack you're immune during the visceral but when it's over should not be when you're dead no you're not Now you're dead. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna make the fatty with the gun come to me for a change. Gosh dang. Infinite ammo bullcrap. And he just attacks through combos, but his melee is head. Look at that. I did not need to use that heal. Dang it. I'm 
maybe I'll use my short range attacks on this. Faster. They hit a little harder. Whoa! Okay, he's starting to hit a lot harder now. I think that's because he ran out of ammo. I think that's the thing with the guy with the gun. He gets like, maybe not 20 bullets, but like a bajillion bullets, and then... Oh my gosh, that combo. Why? No! Oh my gosh, I should be dead. And I will have deserved it too. No, just... I'm here trying to shoot him, and the game's response on shooting is just so crappy. Wow, I just got 16,000 from those guys, which means each of them was worth, like, five-ish light lamp. But I got blood gem, so that's nice, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna light the lamp down the stairs, and I'm gonna leave, because I cannot... Like, I understand why people are like, yeah, the child's dungeons, bleh. Just, okay, tier three is wrecking my face. But I don't know what else I want to do now is the problem. Like, I don't want to switch the time. I don't want to, like, mess with that Skull and Amelia's thing yet. I don't really... I don't feel up to that. But when I killed Amelia that fast, even with help, and these guys are like, freaking... Each of these dudes could probably take on Amelia in a fair fight. Like, okay, may maybe maybe I'm taking on chalice dungeons there. What? Oh, okay, I can go this way. Wow, that guy could have free hit on me ages ago. But see, even these guys are taking forever to kill. Why do you have a weird gong chime sound? Oh. I mean, it doesn't matter. You're dead, but that was weird. I think at this point I might just go for like either turning it. Okay. Wow, giant rats take three hits too. But again, my skill's only like 32, and my vitality is almost 50 by comparison, so. It's like, yay, you've got the defense to last a few, but <laughs> you ain't got the damage to keep it up at all. just happened okay that thing was doing like a third of my health per hit I was back up to two-thirds he should not have one shot me right there what <sighs> getting really tired of these bosses and enemies they're just doing no the bosses are easier to figure out than the main enemies are that's the frustrating part like, the main enemy, or the just randos keep changing their rules left and right. It's driving me nuts. May I get it? These lower floor enemies should have, like, varying degrees of toughness. Okay, where'd the guy with the scythe go? I mean, there was Gong Dude, and then there was a scythe dude, like, here. Where'd he go? Is he on the... Come on, guys. Come on down. No? Not not in the mood that way? Alright. I go and walk through the door. This is when, like, 80 of them just... Yes! 
I was really afraid of having to fight that ooze thing again. Ooh, two more. Three. <laughs> Beware of fall, therefore run. Okay. This thing's got so much health, though. Or am I using, like, just the wrong kind of weapon? Because I am doing, like, no damage to this thing. Yeah, I think I think it's just my weapons are crap on this dude. Oh jeez. But see, again, he does like a third of my health. It's And that was the last hit of his combo, so Ass he lets off for that squishy nasty is just it's really hard to gauge my swing my swings in here. Oh, I just want to turn it down. See these things are they shouldn't be that hard to fight. I mean the thing is really stupid slow. It just gave me pebbles. <sighs> Screw pebbles. They're so I mean they're not worthless, it's just come on. That's a lot of giant rats. Jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up here because I don't want to deal with that many enemies in one go if I can help it. Now watch. Walks in here. There's like 50 enemies. Man, these guys take so many hits now. See, small bridge, numbing mist. That sounds like something useful later on. Real question is, do I want to keep jerking around here? Or do I want to actually, like... Okay, dogs with more HP is bound to be a bad thing, so we're going to be super careful if dogs are around. I'm kind of hoping I can find, like, a chest, though. <laughs> Hidden path waits ahead. Ooh. I'm trying to get rid of these and hope there's not some guy, like, some of those last areas. It's like hiding in the... Reeks <laughs> of a liar? What reeks of liar? Rope Molotov cocktail? What the heck's a rope Molotov cocktail? Okay, so there's the fake wall. There are way too many chests in this room. Ritual blood. Was this entire area, like, supposed to be someplace I can't get to? I mean, I had to fight through that giant nasty slime thing to get here, but... Yeah, if I hadn't known there was a secret room here, I would not have found it. With all these chests here, I'd have been like, alright, this is just a really cool chest room, that's awesome. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought to, like, smack a wall surrounded by chests. Okay, what does that mean? Sky and Cosmos are one. But it is all thanks to message, yeah. Have audience with hidden path, yes. Okay, Sky and Cosmos is one. I'm gonna go in this room. And if there's like nothing fancy in here, random door. Items wait ahead, that makes sense. Why does he only have like four? Oh. Oh, I feel like mini boss. No! Oh crap, it's a bunch of those little dudes! 
Yes! Oh my gosh, their HP is ridiculous on this, in this floor. But these guys usually give really good stuff. Yeah, like blood jams. Take out that. Problem is, they run away really fast. Yeah, I think they've all gone. Which really sucks, but chest. <laughs> it's not like I'm not gaining something from this fight. More to mold three. I'm kinda hoping they all ran to like the same corner or something, but I think I missed it. But that also means if I come back to this floor, I can also like go nuts trying to kill them all. Sincerest thanks, yeah. Yeah, that space in Cosmos is one bullcrap is I'm I'm gonna give that one a no go, because that one was stupid. And if you're the guy who put that on and you end up watching this video, dude, what part of secret passage could you not write down? When when you're surrounded by secret passage, secret passage, the stars in the cosmos are one. Stupid. Like, oh, it's got notes, but all those notes are bad. Well, that's stupid, too. Appraisals, yeah. Okay, so just notes means they were probably bad-ish. But this whole area was really healthy for... Healthier for my magical bank account. Yeah. Like, letting me know ahead of time, hey, by the way, secret path. Saw that dog's back, I'm like, oh crap, I don't want to deal with that. There's a ladder here. Wasn't I in this room? This is where I look around the corner and find out this is the room with all the rats. And I'm like, oh, son of a... <laughs> No, this is the room before the room with all the rats. It, but that is a lot of rats, though. Item waits ahead, but beware of attack from behind. See, that's important to know. It's called, it's one of those fights where you see all the rats, and you're prepared to fight with all the rats. You are not, however, prepared to deal with a random enemy that comes from the left. Yeah, I feel like... Oh, yeah, we're gonna leave. I don't think I killed them all. I think that was like half those rats. If I hadn't already known to, like, back the heck up a lot. Yeah, we're gonna do just... I don't... I wish there was a health regen stat. Like, if your vitality hit 40 or 50 or 100, you get, like, a passive health regen. I feel like that would be useful. Because, see, I just almost died fighting four of these. And now I'm about to fight four more of these. No, five more. Great. Okay, they take three hits. I think I don't see you there, jackass. Nothing but ritual materials here. Okay, so it's one of those, don't want to fight the rats? Well, cool. There's really not much here. 
I mean, those are blood echoes. I can get those from literally anywhere. Quicksilver bullets. Did I miss something? There aren't any ritual components here. I mean, I think I got, what, like a bloodstone shard? Huge rats, good gosh. Reminds me of the rats from Princess Bride. There were rats in Princess Bride? I don't remember gi giant rats from Princess Bride. And those of you who are fans of Princess Bride are about to crucify me for that one, like... Are you serious? In my defense, I've seen the movie once. <laughs> one time. It's a good movie. I love the movie. But it's hard to remember every facet of a movie if you've seen it only once. So, wham. <laughs> you wanna be mean? It's not gonna matter, because I don't care. Alright, so I think this door is really the only other place I have found to go. If I find that lantern again, I will totally probably leave. That looks unhealthy for me. Time for visceral attacks, therefore no mercy for fatties. I don't know why that's a thing, but that's like the second or third time I've seen that exact note. Which means somewhere in the notes making abilities thing, there is a no mercy for fatties line. Gosh. No! See, and right there, that was a visceral. Why didn't he visceral? Why aren't you doing it? It's like a core game mechanic. Is that why people don't use them reliably? Because they're so, like, unreliable? And he healed! And I'm dead! Frick! Three visceral attacks the game wouldn't let me use! I mean... <laughs> Come on, game! If you're gonna build a mechanic, make it so it works when it says it will. I mean, I've tried pressing the attack button, I've tried holding the attack button, it's one of those, sometimes it just says, meh, I don't want to do it. Just, just F that mechanic. I mean, if you're good, just make it a half-assed mechanic. Sorry for the language. Just don't put in the mechanic. It's that simple. Like, it, it really is that simple. like, oh, if you hit so-and-so while they're doing this exact animation, uh -oh. you can press the attack button and be able to get a free attack. And I'm like, that's great. Like, where's the fine print that says, oh, and by the way, ah. This rat wasn't there last time, so I thought maybe maybe he had been some sort of like fluke. But now I gotta deal with slime creature thing again. Don't think I'm going to though. I think I'm gonna go like around it. Cause it's relatively easy to dodge. And I'll just climb up here. This will lead to where I was. Hey, that guy's got my souls. Cool. At least it looked like he had my souls. Oh my gosh. No! Oh, that works too. Got a little more dodge. Room. Except the one that has my souls didn't come down. <laughs> Oh, crap. I just realized now the, uh, mold 
creature thing is on the ground and just waiting for me to walk by. Unless he climbed back up to the... Nope. Wee. Yeah, that thing is so easy to dodge. That's kind of embarrassing. I don't remember a forest with the... F um, actually, I kind of vaguely remember that. Reminds me of the rats from Princess Bride. Yeah, I remember the giant rats in the forest with the fire. Lol. Oh, light. You know who, not our in-law, is about to have a baby? I think I know who you're talking about, but we can we can talk about that in more detail later. Yeah, he's got glowing eyes. He's He's got my souls. That's cool. That is super convenient. I feel like I should probably up my stamina at some point soon, just because... Okay, let's see if we can't take... Can I heal? Because... Bullcrap. Oh, so I can hit you now? Maybe it's gotta be on a flat plane? I mean, that's still dumb. But, whatever. Yeah, and he was already halfway standing up. That... Oh, good. Congrats for her. I feel like this dungeon was a lot smaller than the first one. Like, it's also a lot easier, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna count those blessings as bad things. Yeah, nope. Good luck, dude, with the top hat. But see, even the dogs have a noticeable pattern. Sometimes it's one hit, sometimes it's two hits, sometimes it's like a four hit combo. But they always do this jumping lunge thing. Go wreck your face. Okay, and I already went there. Wait, I died. So does that mean if I... I don't remember there being anything here. Let's go for... Yes, I can theoretically fight these dudes again. See, they just kind of like poof. They've got like this this hidey holes, or they can walk into walls or something. Time for rolling. Oh, cause rolling works. Really okay, that's just a those of us who like breaking stuff. Do it. Do it. No, so I got whatever he dropped. That's nice. I have all my souls back, which is super great. But I think in that underground route, like after the mold thing in that room somewhere, there was a, a door that I have not used yet. And if I have not used it yet, turn back treasure... Wait. No, actually, that's a really good note. Turn back, like, secret walls, stuff like that, so... Lever waits ahead. What is that? What is that? I have fought one of those before. I don't know what they are, though. Oh, 
Oh no! But it's dead. It took so much of my health. But I don't think they give you anything. They're just these weird, creepy looking things. I don't understand. And I guess that's the point of the whole gothic horror genre. Like, you're not supposed to get it, but... I like to understand at least bits and pieces of what's going on. Like, they're a rare occurrence. You have to kill all the monsters in area. And then sometimes they show up at the end, and sometimes they don't. Oh, there's the ladder. Oh, crap, it's the ooze monster. Okay, if I'm gonna go back down here, I should probably deal with that. Wow, Blades of Mercy. Back is sorry. Whoa, two, three. Yeah, Blades of Mercy, man. I don't use them often, but when they work, man, they work. Now, where was the door? It wasn't that way. Time to run. But no, what my wife is talking about is a uh, family friend was due any time now, pretty much. So, she finally had her baby. Doesn't open from this side. Where does that door go? Because I thought I'd gone everywhere at this point. I mean, because there's this circle area. I mean, I found a freaking hidden area with, with help. I've opened this. Where does that door go? Now I'm good. That's gonna bug me now. I mean, because this is where I came from. It's downstairs somewhere. Alright, let's look around real quick. Because I feel like, A, there's probably one or two... Because... Oh, I think I know where it is. There, There is a door we didn't go through. But I think it was near the rat room, maybe? Or over in the lever room? We'll, we'll have to figure it out now. So let's... Let's do some adventuring! It's an adventure! Just... Rats are no joke. Yeah, see, this guy's like, nope. Oh, jeez. But see, another one of those I misgaged. Come on, buddy. I don't want to fight like six of you if I can just fight one of you at a time. Oh, jeez. Aha! For once, you got stuck in the wall! Jerk. I'm gonna pop one of these. Because I feel like what I'm gonna do is try and get like near 60k and just level up a couple of stats if I can. See, they've got like this hive mind thing going. Like they're all moving up in unison. I feel like if I can get just one or two detached, that would be great. Oh, oh crap. I saw the jump coming. I couldn't eject. One rat left. Like, I can do it! No, you can't. Don't, don't worry, man. I mean, I wish you could do it by yourself, but... 
when eight of your friends are like, no, Jimmy, you can't do it. <laughs> Chances are good. I mean, but fine, those guys gave me almost like 3,000 blood echoes, like, right there. Now, why do creepy rats give you more blood echoes than, say, you know, a sentient being? Because I really get the impression that, uh, blood echoes kind of are just, like, the echo of their souls or something, or, like... Okay, no, because this is the secret room. I don't think there's a door in here. I don't think there's a door in the secret room. We will check, because I could be wrong. I have been wrong before on this game. Oh, pff. let's correct that. I have been s so wrong so many times on this game. Like, no. But that's gonna drive me nuts now. Where is this door? I honestly think it's in the room with the um lever. I just gotta remember how to get to it. Here, this will lead us to. Did any more creepy things jump in to fight that dude? No, that's nice, I guess. Because there was a door that I looked through, and there was like a scorpion on the other side of the door, but I don't know how I'm getting there. I don't think there's another hidden room. Else, I feel like I would have found notes about it already. Frustrate the heck out of me now. Yeah, I just lost health. Because I think that's the door I can't open. And I want that chest. Because that's a big chest in the middle of the room. Alright, let's. Okay, do I want to go. There is no right, so let's go left. Uphill a bit. Sorry, I'm trying to like make a mental map because I feel like it should be somewhere on my left, should be the door or like the area. But now I think I'm back in the rat room. I don't think there's any doors in here. I was in here before, I don't remember seeing any doors, but I was kind of busy fighting rats, so... And since these chests are... Well, I don't know if the chests are randomly generated, or like the dungeon as a whole kind of thing, like the layout. Because I'm starting to feel very stupid. Like, there's a door, but this floor feels very short. But apparently it's not very short, because there's a door I can't open. There's the door. Are there any routes? I mean, there's the route out of here. Oh, now I feel dumb again. Because this probably leads me down to the chest. Okay, tough. 
It's a giant rat. A single giant rat. Why aren't you attacking me? Are you like, thank you for rescuing me from that creepy dude? <laughs> Small gents and their despicable friend. Okay. Good heal. I don't know who despicable friend is. Who's small? Ha! <laughs> knew I saw scorpions through all these doors. Wow, he hits re. He is not. He is very tanky. Arcane is affected. Against who? Oh my gosh, more rats. Yay. Are you looking forward to more fighting of rats? I sure am. Not really. Tight spot waits ahead. in my routine, I guess. More of that 2 mold 3 stuff. Whoa. Did I just miss him like three times? Jeez. More 2 mold 3. All I see left is you. What does the Embrace Madness thing mean? Is there one of those creepy hand things around that's gonna like just suck me up into the ceiling? If so, man, I hate those. Tight spot ahead. Well, this could suck real quick. Oh goody, there's fireball dude. So. Man, I am not liking this area. But I came looking for it, because I'm a dummy. Let's go, buddies. What the heck? Is did he have a cannon? How where are these fireballs coming from, man? Is there a cannon? Or are these guys just that good at hurling whatever it is they're throwing around? I mean, because I was not out in the open for the most part. Yeah, those are cannonballs, son of... But see, it's parts like this I wish were co-op. Because this room's more than big enough. And the enemies get crapped on the friends, why don't I? That seems unfair. Oh, crap. But see? They get friends. I don't get friends. Heal, just in case. Man, I'm already down to nine. I haven't even fought the boss yet. I want to fight. 
all these little dudes before the big guy even comes into the play. Comes into play. Or comes into the game. Because he's... Well, I don't know. The big guys I can always try and shotgun. And a couple of vines, which I sorely needed, so. Come on. I know you see me here. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Chase me. Yeah, I feel like if I was using the saw cleaver... Like, the more powerful, like, melee-esque weapons. What's your weapon? Okay, it's that giant cleaver thing. I, I was having trouble seeing it. Yes! Oh, that did not... Back up! <laughs> he hits me. Dang, he's got a lot of health. Or is it just I'm not hitting hard enough? Ow! Man, I got none of my health back from that fight. That sucks. But he gave me three blood vials, so I guess that counts. But see, that's not the chest I saw earlier. Man, that means this entire area was just kind of like a side thing. Oh, workshop. What? Did I get something for the workshop in this chest? Or is it a trap? And that's why there's no trap. Those with faith will be spared. What does that mean? Workshop haze extractor. What's haze? Who? But the fact I had to go through this chalice dungeon to be able to get that. Crap, there's got to be a way to get upstairs, though. Maybe that, and that's probably where I saw the uh, other chest. And those all explode, too. Yes, a blood vial. Woot. Okay, so is there a ladder in this room somewhere? Maybe another set of stairs I'm not seeing? Maybe I need to backtrack to go forward kind of thing again? Because I think there's... yeah, there's a ladder. Because I came in that way. So, let's go up the ladder. Where did I come this way already. No, because that's the chest I saw. So that, that'll be my way out, more than likely. And this guy... Ooh, Madman's Knowledge. Cool. I don't ever use it, but it's always nice to have in... Oh, jeez, Bagman. What's up, Bagman? Why are you just sitting there? And there's another big guy upstairs, so this is gonna suck. can stay over there. I forgot, actually. I will fully heal before this fight, though. You know what? I feel safer down here. I do not mind fighting a zombie and a bagman in a more open area. Twin bloodstone shard. But see, even now, I get way more bloodstone shards than twin bloodstone shards, and that's not good. Mm -hmm. 
reeks of ambush. Yes, it does. If it's... Yeah. Because there's like a chest smack dab in the middle of the room. More cold blood, which is cool. Is there still a dude up here? It's just another bag man, though. Okay, so I'm going to go the other way. Because I know there's a chest there. And I'm super curious and want, like, loot. I like loot. Oh, man. No, because I started 15 minutes late. We can run... We can run a few more minutes over. Yeah, this is... This is the other way out. Okay. And there's... Yeah, because that's the chest I saw. And there's nothing up. Why does that scorpion look... Gnarlier? Wow, he's even tankier. He looks kind of like the midget things. Like he's got one of the midget things riding on his back or something. Oh, dang. I misjudged his, his distance because of this muck. Whoa, did he explode? Okay. I was close to one of the other ones when that dirty blood gemstone number three. Alright, now, in case I die against the bag man, let's open this door so I can get back here if I need to. Yeah, from one round room to another round room. Or this way I can get back to the to the boss area if I need to, so. Yeah, and there's the bag man. I want to see if he'll actually come after me if... Because if I could totally, like... No! Back out! so that we might heal. Run some more so we might heal again. Okay. And he's not chasing me, which is awesome. Although he's at low enough health. Dead? I am... At this point, I am really scared of whatever boss I fire at the bottom of this dungeon. Like, I don't, I don't know if I can take it, so I think I'm going to skip that step. Because again, doing this entire area has given me almost 60,000 blood echoes. And I have been learning to see blood echoes as, like, a scale of difficulty. Like, the harder enemies drop a few more blood echoes than their easier counterparts kind of thing. Whoa, where am I now? I don't even know where I'm going anymore. This area keeps getting bigger. Because these were the guys with the cannons. So how do I get down there? Yeah, I feel like there should be a door over here somewhere. I wish breaking stuff gave you, like, one blood, blood echo. Kind of like the game's way of saying, yeah, it, it's not really worth your time, dude. Just, just don't. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> okay, screw it. I'm going to just jump down there, I think. 
Because I don't know how I get up to that cannon bridge, and now I really want to see... Hello, showtime! How are you? I don't know if you're still here or not. <laughs> it's still... Oh, yes, it's now showing me three viewers. It was showing me two before. I'm like, okay. People are able to post long before it tells me they're there. I am sorry. I'm looking at my TV, and my laptop is, like, four feet the opposite direction, so... What you doing? I am playing Bloodborne and getting confused because the maps keep getting weird on me. Oh! No! I will not be killed by a plain old lame zombie. No. I refuse. Although they are taking so much more damage now, it's frustrating. Like, things I could kill in one or two shots are like, nah, it's gonna take you four now. Okay, let's back. Ah! Why is there- why? What the heck was- What just happened? Okay, cannon and some sort of blades. Time for blood vials. Oh, crap. Wow, that is a lot of... Wow. Is this all blood vials? Is that what that's saying? Oh, heck yeah! Fully restock my supply, will you? Is that what that first... Rope Molotov cocktail. I really need to read up what those do. Uh, what type of chalice am I? That happens to me too. What type of chalice are you on? Um, I am on the... Will it say anywhere? Probably not. I am on the second floor of the fourth Thumaru chalice dungeon, if that means anything. So, dang it. I'm gonna have to start doing these streams later, because people are getting on the... Okay, wait. There. And now let's hope there's not another... I knew something was jumping out of that. Because traps just aren't good enough for you guys. See, I'm so used to games where, like, this oily colored stuff is, like, flammable oil. Nice. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. You just hopping channels. How are you? Uh, ah, no! That is a lot of guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, my hand line turns off. Being attacked by zombies. Oh look, my flashlight lost power. No! I saw that coming too. I was trying to avoid it. Okay, I feel like... Ah. Uh, and there's no more cannon fire. It's just this giant blade now. I feel like I could lure a bag man or something. You did this challenge not too long ago. Did you have fun? I am not having fun. This is this is a not fun place to be. I love how the bagman just doesn't care at this point. It's like, man, what else? I have underlings for that. This guy's not even worth me opening the bag. Not even. Man, I have got so many souls. Not so many. No! Where'd that other hit come from? No! <sighs> Dog. Dead freaking gummit. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm... I do not believe I'm at the proper level to be at this place. <laughs> 
but I didn't want to do, uh, I just beat Vicar Amelia, and I just didn't want to do the thing involved with touching that skull. So I'm like, ma'am, I'm gonna wait with that. Ah! It's been so long since these creatures were alive, I forgot. Oh, what the heck? You can just ram with this now? Let me off the wall, you jackass! Goodness. Okay, where's the door? There's the door I couldn't open before, and now I can. Where's this dude? Oh! There wasn't a scorpion in there last time. It was the one from in here that... Okay. Cheap move game. Nah, I probably won't be doing the boss in this one. I've got... I gotta turn in soon. I am not prepared. Because you can only back up during boss fights, right? Whoa, we have four people now! Hi, guys! Sorry if I'm yelling in the mic. Just, this is the most people I've had all night. Crap, I gotta fight him again. Crap, crap, crap. Crap. Wait... No, because it wasn't that way. It was... No, because this is the way I just came from, wasn't it? Yeah. Dag. Dag. Gum it. I don't want to fight those bag dudes again. I really don't, but... Let's... So hard hitting now! Back away. Ah. Heal. Nope, oh, that was bad. Where? How many scorpions are there? Gosh darn it. Okay, so when I have the ability to smack guys a lot, Blades of Mercy are actually okay. Just, I very rarely have met an enemy that... Wow. Okay, so yeah, level 226 probably explains a couple of things. Wow. You are not the first person I've met with a level like that. One of them was like, why is your health so, like, higher than it? Like, it was higher, but it's because he had, like, a rune on it at the time. Blades of Mercy actually wrecked the other one. Saying you on fire doesn't work. Jeez, that was close. Oh man, if he had made a jump, another jump attack right there, I'd be dead. And that, that was risky. 77? Yeah, that is really nice. Actually, maybe you can answer a question for me. At 77 Vitality, does everything still, like, two-shot you? I mean, I'm at the point, I'm like, Oh, I thought I was doing so well, but everything still hits so hard. Man, that hits the bridge, though. Okay, that's where I was. Wait, where did this go, though? 
Goodbye, dude. Please don't, don't get up again. Oh crap, there's two of those rooms now. Well, fudge. I think this is what I was doing before. Which means I need to go back this way and try and get all those souls back. Jeez! I've done so little in... Okay, yeah, this is where I was. Oh, blood echoes. There we go. And there's a chest there. Nothing but strong foes here. Yeah. Who knew? That's 105. These guys are so high. I want that chest. There's a chest there. And I have earned it, darn it. I see that you guys are commenting. Just give me a moment, because I feel like I should play a more stream-friendly game. That way I can afford to, like, look away for a whole five seconds to read streams. Or something that, like, I can hit pause and... Not really, because as you level yourself up, your defense gets stronger and takes more hits for you to die. Cool. No, because... I mean, my vitality is at, like, 40-something? Where is it? 42? Oh, I wish this flame sprayer did just a little more damage. Because that one guy hit for so much damage. Goodness. Yeah, like, I know your defense goes up, but I've noticed as the bad guys get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. <laughs> like, it it's pretty much a one-for-one -one ratio. Like, guys that could two-shot me before... Their leveled up versions are still able to two shot me now. I don't want to fight him though. I want to just grab the chest and go. But I want these guys to kind of come at me. Wait. Nope. Oh. I don't like bad guys learning. That's only when you get lower in the dungeons. Yeah, so... Go me! No, nope, wrong weapon. Go use this. Don't really need it, but just in case. Dodge smack a fool. Twin bloodstone shards. Why can't you be worth more, jerk? I'm getting my dang chest. <laughs> if it turns out there's nothing here, I'm gonna be so ticked. Odd tempering damp bloodstone. Er, okay. Don't know what that means. I'm still looking for a weapon. Like a burial blade. A burial blade would be awesome. No secret rooms, just nastiness. I literally just went down like two halls and I'm already like half my. Blood vials, that's... Ah, dog, freaking gummit. Not paying attention. That one was totally my fault, though. Whoa, and there's a hole in the floor. Well, all right, then. Why is there a giant hole in the floor? Just to be that way. Nothing but messengers here. Thank you, guy who put a messenger here. So 
no secrets, no, just a giant blade of hate and death and a hole in the floor. But seriously, is that the only way to get up here? Because I didn't see any more stairs or ladders or anything. Which means, how do I get back from here? Other than falling, I'm trying to remember the route from here. Okay, because that's the hole. Oh crap, that's the rats. Don't want the rat room. Oh crap, there's rats in both directions. Well, fudge. Death go thug. Ah! They saw me coming! No! No! Stay away from me! Hide! Oh my gosh! Just hitting me running. They hurt so much. This will lead down. Yeah, I feel like this area is just way above my level. And I did not know. Okay, I need to find a lamp now. So I can leave this godforsaken hell for me. I don't know what that lamp does. Don't think I don't see you over there, dude. Wow, he hits so fast. Maybe it's a speed buff on him or something? I don't know. Okay, so go in here. Climb this ladder. You got this, dude. I don't know who that is, but he's got this. I don't want to go that way. I really, really don't want to go that way. There's my lamp. Screw it. I'm going to do my lamp. Yay! It is 8.30, which is half an hour longer than I had planned to stream. But we start a little late, so I regret nothing. Good. Unload. Come on, good hunter. What is it you? Actually, no, because I did unlock hunter. that new thing. Whatever the heck it was. Arcane haze. Scrapped out of various ritual materials. Materials are. Oh, that's what it does. Okay. You were fighting the daughter of Cosmo? I don't know what that is. Whoa. Okay. That's nice to know I can... I can break those down now. That's cool. Alright, let's... Not that one. I want... Fortification. There we go. About dang time I found one that was better than what I had. Wow, that's actually way better than what I had. 11%, 18 right off the bat. Heck yeah. And this one... 13... This one's 11, but adds a permanent plus 6, so... That's nice. Okay, being able to add 10 to my attack power is very sweet. There's probably something in here for these two. Or not. Because my, my blades do not get love. And I can sell some of th Oh, actually, since I'm here, derp -a derp I picked up a couple of those, and a couple of 
those. And while I'm here, let's see what these do. No. It's thrown behind me? Okay. That's random. It's an ugly squid thing. Oh, goody! I have that to look forward to. No! Every time. I go to hit up to go up in the list of the secondary items and... Oops. Stupid me. Welcome. What is it, Hutus? What do you Very think I well. want? No, that's, me that's messing. I love the doll. She's awesome. Yeah, my stats are kind of... poopy at the moment. I feel... Okay, I'm back up to gang. See, that'll give me another 20. Wow. That one floor. One, two, three, four. Four levels. Are we serious here? Wait. Two defense, one defense, one defense. Oh, that's not good. That's weird. So, like, certain levels, it gives me so much less. Okay, let's up this to... That way I at least get a little... No, because I want to just max out Vitality to, like, 50. And then Skill to 50. And I think I did one of those online builder things for, like, 120. And I was like, okay. 50 here, 50 here. Arcane might eventually go to 50, but I'm thinking I might take my endurance to like 20 or something first. But still. Yeah, and I'm not going to sell anything because I'm very Farewell, far away good from hunter. anything. May you find your work All right, in the I think that is it for me. You know what? No, first, since we have four people here, we will real quick ruin my bedtime. I work at a school. The first day is tomorrow, but duh, gum it. I can't help it. I want to go see what this boss is. Like, if the dungeon was that hard, what's the boss gonna be? Uh, the threaded cane, though, is my jam. I mean, I feel like my combat style would be kind of the same if I was using any of the other weapons. It'd be pretty much wait for them to attack, rush in, beat the ever-living snot out of them. I mean, the cane is nice because it's got that reach going. Yeah, and see? Aw, oh, man, I'm already down some health. Well, that means I can do this fight and be like, oh, it's okay. Attack from behind. Oh, that can't be good. That's not a hidden path, but yes, that is definitely... That one piece stretch of fight was like the hardest thing I've done in this entire area. Terrible foe waits ahead. You mean a boss? Right? Yeah? Some of the notes, it's just like... Did you just set a note there because you could? Or is there like a game mechanic that's like, You can put a note here. Long weapon or bolt. I didn't bring my bolt paper. So I'm just shafted on all counts, man. But I have a long weapon. Undead jump. Whoa. That guy's big. Hi. I'm... I'm Billy. Ha! Ah! Whoa, jeez! God, he hits so hard. Wow. Nope. Wow, and there he didn't even actually hit me physically. He just hit the ground near me. This guy is... Well, but he's he's taking some decent damage. 
Aha. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I see some posts are still popping up. I'm just... I can't look away. Okay, so get in close. Ah, except I keep going between his legs. I'm not trying to do that. Whoa. He doesn't like me going between his legs anymore either. Okay, heal again, because... Okay, so let's go. I have an idea. It's probably a terrible idea. I'm gonna get behind him. Power attack. Hopefully, get maybe an evisceration on him. Nope, that didn't work. He did not. He did not like that at all. Oh, back out! Didn't notice he hit me twice there, or just once. But he did not like that damage though, so. Back up. I feel kinda cheap. Do it. Wow. Okay, so being able to rapid hit with these does way more damage. Why would you put a note in the boss fight? Who does that? But see, 240, that's like what I do with a hit and a half from my man. My. Oh, I missed. I mean, look, that's 220. Oh, jeez. And I'm in the wall. I should probably go this way. And heal. I mean, this arena is perfect for this guy. Nope. Uh, oh, that was close. Oh, what the heck is this bullcrap? Now it's got, like, mini death balls that swing around its back? This is gonna be a long fight if I play it this way. Look at that! He swings himself so hard, he swings, like, the back ball things. That's ridiculous! Oh, that hurt. Just to be sure have to heal after every freaking hit. Oh, that hurt. Oh, crap. That's... that was painful. Okay, I need to be able to see where I'm going. Man, I'm gonna be out of things way before I kill this dude. But I doubt visceral attacks are even viable on this dude. A lot of help. Nah, I, I should probably just not be here in the first place. Yep, because that's all my blood vials. Uh, wow, the range on those things is deceptive, too. Alrighty. Nope, I could be doing more damage. Probably. He didn't look hard, he just had so much health, though. Or I'm just not... Alright, guys, I really do need to stop here. I don't want to... Really, really don't want to, but whoops. This is Lightbringer. I will see you guys. I know I've been doing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday streams, but tonight has shown us that the Sunday streams get kind of depressing because all the cool people hang out after like 8, and 8 should be about the time I go to bed because I got to get up really early for work at a school so 
My times might change for Sundays. I'm thinking Friday and Saturday they'll still be pretty much 6 until whenever I stop playing. That way if you guys want to see me on Friday or Saturday night, I can stay up as late as I need to. Because I'm a grown man, gosh darn it. I shouldn't be dictated by, like, six-year-old hours. It's not fair. <laughs> Alright, guys. I will let you go. This is Lightbringer. Lights out.